My name is Amata, and in this Red Gaming Tech video, I am here with an AMD themed collection for you today. And the first item on our list is the HP NVX360 laptop. So, this particular laptop, or notebook to be more precise, is actually going to be officially the very first one with a Zen APU. Now, we have actually got the data sheet, which you'll see on screen right about now. And as you can see, we have a Ryzen 5 APU, which is better known as the 2500U. And if that number seems familiar, it's probably because it is. It was kicking around a while ago when I was discussing all those leaks regarding Raven Ridge, because, well, this is Raven Ridge. As you can see on the data sheet, it's going to have, again, the Ryzen 5 2500U, and it's going to have a 2 GHz base frequency and 3.6 GHz turbo. Now, what is interesting is that we only have one stick of 8GB of DDR4 RAM, but that's probably not anything to do with the APU itself. It's probably more just the decision from HP for whatever reason. However, we do have, as well, 256 gigs of NVMe SSD, but the really interesting part is obviously the graphics are integrated, integrated rather, into the APU, and HP has confirmed that the Ryzen 5 2500U features Vega Mobile, most likely Vega 8 or 10. Now, the entire power consumption of the entire thing, the whole laptop, is only 45 watts. So, this is obviously going to be a low-end Vega. Again, most likely 8 or 10. However, would this actually be worth it performance-wise? Well... As I said, I have already discussed Raven Ridge in the past, but on screen now you can see some benchmarks which will show you that the Ryzen 5 2500U is really, really nice and is actually almost double the performance of its predecessor at half the power demand. So, yeah, this, this little notebook is going to have a little, quite a lot of punch for a device that barely requires any power for the entire thing. So definitely going to be interesting to get our hands on that one. Hopefully we can actually get our hands on it and tell you guys whether or not it's worth buying. If perhaps you're after just something that's not going to be like, you know, running which is free at 4K anytime soon, but it is going to be pretty damn good for the cost and can perhaps play some other games that lower settings, or even is just a good speed, because even just normal everyday tasks outside of gaming are really, really frustrating if the machine you're using in the one is slow. My mum's laptop is ancient, and it's a pain in the ass to use for this very reason. <laughs> However, we have a second item, as I said earlier. And this comes to us thanks to Overclocked.net, who have basically been told that AMD is preparing a new Agisa update for the AM4 series of motherboards. And these are actually going to be targeted for the Raven Ridge APUs and also Pinnacle Ridge, which of course is Zen Plus. So these are most likely just in preparation for both of those uh, chips and is also going to bring future BIOS versions and of course new support new AMD CPUs and blah blah. AMD have promised several times that we're not going to be changing from AM4 anytime soon and obviously this Agisa update is very much within that vein as it is just like updating the motherboard so they're actually compatible with these new chips. But apparently the entire BIOS has seen a major overhaul under the hood. So if you do update your motherboard, just as usual, be on the lookout for a, you know anything like, hey, extra few frames of performance or whatever, or even possibly bugs. Unfortunately, as is the case with anything software related, updates can sometimes bring unpleasant surprises, but also some pleasant ones as well, as I said, with the increased performance chance as well. In fact, I've got a bit of a quote here to paint a picture as to how dramatic these changes actually are. And it says, quote, Agisa 1.0.0.7 comes with support for Raven Ridge APUs. AMD has also changed the entire BIOS based structure, so we have a lot of work to put everything to the new version, which may result in further bugs. The advantage is that it makes it easier to support future CPUs, Raven Ridge, Pinnacle Ridge. The cold boot fix will be implemented as soon as we have a recent Agisa version which supports it. Basically, what I said, BIOS creators, designers, or whatever you want to call them, are going to have to port over their existing features to this new BIOS format because it is just that huge an overhaul. So, 
definitely expect some speed bumps for this one, but uh, nice to see, you know, them seconds to their promise of, hey, AM4 isn't going anywhere, and also nice to see that we're going to be getting a look at what Raven Ridge and Pinnacle Ridge have to offer before too long, actually. So, thank you so much, everyone, for sending us these tips. Many, many of you messaged us regarding the Agisa and the HP Envy, so thank you very much. Your tips are always appreciated. Um, feel free to message us on Facebook, Twitter, or even email at contact at raidgamingtech.com if you see something interesting that you feel might be worth covering. Thanks, guys. Your support really does make a great, mean a great deal to us. See you next time.